Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome to a brand new, I said, let's play series. I don't know, or maybe a know how to walk through tutorial gameplay series. <laughs> because, yes, Pokemon Cafe Mix, the game has been out for quite some time now, ever since they announced it um, during one of the Nintendo Lives or rather Pokemon Directs. Um, so, yeah, um, I have actually been playing this game religiously on my Nintendo Switch, but in order for me to do a recording of this game, I have to use the mobile device app version because, well, you can't record a Nintendo Switch while in handheld mode, so that's kind of a bummer. So yes, this is Pokemon Cafe Mix on my mobile device, and I'm using an Apple device, and you know, I have to start a brand new account, so why not? start off this journey on my mobile device um, together with me and let's try to do our best to clear the stages and of course hopefully with you know the gameplays you might get a bit of a tip you know on how you can clear the stages yourself and unlock certain Pokemon um, that are currently on event like Squabani is currently on event right now hopefully we might be able to get him join the cafe uh, this entire playthrough will be totally free to play. I will not be spending any real life money to buy any purchases with this game. So at least for those who, uh, who are planning to play this game free to play just like myself, you at least will have some kind of a uh, well, friend playing along with you. Even though there is a friend system in this game, but they don't really do anything. <laughs> so let's do this. Pokemon Cafe Mix and yes, as you can tell, this is brand new to my mobile device so all the needed stuff that needs to be downloaded will be downloaded right now. There we go, so our only main human within this game? <laughs> I, I don't understand why, you know, considering that we are the one that's owning the cafe but we have no actual illustrations for ourselves. It feels like an idol master situation if you guys know the anime series or the game series. You should probably know what I'm talking about. So there, so the character is Leia, I guess that's how you pronounce her name. So good morning, I'm Leia and I'll be working with you starting today. You must be the owner. Yeah, like I said, we own the place but we have no idea how we look like. And your name is... Well, I'm just gonna go with my you know, YouTube name, so Silent CL. Here we go. Here we go. Nice to meet you. B! EB! <laughs> so, yes, I'm not a professional voice actor, so bear with me. <laughs> Good morning to you too, EB. You're going to help us out as well? Great! B! First things first, we need to prepare for the grand opening. Let's head to the kitchen. Alright. Alright, so this is the tutorial portion, so straight away. The first few stages are just basically tutorials. Why don't we whip something up and make sure that our tools are working correctly? V. These icons represent the motivation of Eevee and the other Pokemon that will be helping you out. Try linking these EV icons to get everyone excited to pitch in on the order. Hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> basically this game, um, if you guys watch the Japanese trailer for Pokemon Cafe Mix, they use the term Guru Guru. So if you guys are well familiar with Japanese by now, if you guys are otaku fans just like me, um, Guru Guru is basically the rotational action. So yeah. So that's basically Pokemon Cafe Mix. You just swirl your finger around and collect as many icons as possible together. There we go. That's it. Perfect. Note that every time you grab and release an icon, the move count will go down. Alright, so that's important uh, information for how you play this game. You'll get help from various Pokemon while completing an order. Let's ask Eevee to be the leader for now. B. Aha, uh -huh. so 
You can see the rest of the Poker Pals on screen, which you can eventually get to join your cafe. But, well, starting out the game, apparently Eevee is the main icon for this game and not Pikachu, which is a pleasant surprise. You know, ever since the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee series where they start to focus on having Eevee as a main mascot as well, uh, aside from Pikachu, who has been a mascot for Pokemon for years. So let's do this. Let's pick up Eevee's icon, you know, just to swirl around because Eevee is our main lead right now. So we have to charge up this bar at the bottom left hand corner. Oh, apparently that's all I had to do. So, well, the first few stages will give you like um, lots of acorns that you can use to um, retry stages when you are just so close to clearing them. You know, just helps you out greatly later on. Your very first cafe latte? Isn't this exciting? Why don't we have Eevee do the honors and taste it? B. Oh, he's happy. <laughs> Looks like Eevee enjoyed that. Great! Okay, we're all set. All we need are some customers. Oh, Charmander. <laughs> Look at his derpy walk. His head is too big for his body. Cha! Look, it's a Charmander! Perhaps it wants to check out the cafe latte you just made. Cha! <laughs> he would <laughs> have guessed that the Charmander will be our first customer. Let's make this delightful customer feel welcome. Alright, let's serve things up for Charmander. Second stage of the tutorial, let's go! Here's another tip, Pokemon can use these things called cafe skills. Eevee, can I ask you to demonstrate? B? Okay, so that was what I was talking about earlier. So, to use a cafe skill, you need to fill up this gauge. The gauge can be filled by linking lots of Pokemon icons to get your Pokemon helpers fired up. Alright, there we go, we've got that tutorial portion, so fill up the gauge. So it's better to always use the main leader Pokemon icon to charge up the gauge. I mean, you can use the rest of the Pokemon that's currently present, but they don't charge up as fast. So let's do this. Let's guru guru mawaru all over the screen. There we go. The cafe skill icon appeared. Nice work. To activate a skill, grab the icon, then release it at the desired position. Alright, so they give you an example. So, as you can tell, there's actually a timer above the skill icon. So, you've got that certain amount of time to place it into the position that you want it to um, before it self activates itself. So, yeah, there we go. So, let's do this. Let's put it in the center of the screen. Yeah! That's it! There you go, Charmander! So yeah, if you clear the stage with the least amount of moves, of course you gain more acorns, um, which is going to help you out, like I said earlier, um, with the later stages, because the stages will get a lot harder. Cha cha! <laughs> Great, Charmander is satisfied! With Eevee's help, it looks like you can make things that even Pokemon love. Oh, golden acorns? These are very valuable. Perhaps it's a thank you for the Cafe Latte Charmander. What? Did I just... <laughs> okay, I'm reading a bit too fast. So Charmander, are you sure? Cha! Thank you Charmander, this feels like a friendship in the making. Alright, so yeah. Every time you clear stages with the um, requesting Pokemon, they gain star or rather EXP, once that whole bar is filled up, they will eventually join your cafe and you can use them um, to help you clear stages because, well, you need to use specific Pokemon to clear certain stages because their skills benefit that stage greatly. So yeah, here we go. Lots of all tutorials, but we don't really need to read this. You just have to, I guess, hear what I say. <laughs> hey, another first visit. Oh, look. Our next customer is a curious, uh, Minchino? 
Maybe it saw Charmander and decided to check out our cafe. Alright, what would you like to have? I guess the only thing we have on the menu right now is that latte. So, <laughs> alright, let's brew another cup. Oh, we've got to clear 10 Pikachu and 10 EV icons. Alright, I'll cheer you on using my megaphone. Oh, that's pretty handy. As you build up your Pokemon helper's motivation by making combos, sometimes Leia's megaphone will appear. The megaphone can clear a few icons in the direction it's facing. So yeah, so just pay attention to where it is pointing to and you should be fine. So let's get all the Pikachu icons. Alright, there we go. Marvelous. And of course, followed by Eevee. Oh, we missed one. That's okay. So let's do this. Okay, the thing is, in this game, you can actually use the skills to activate the rest of the icons beside it. As long as they're within the, I would say, area that the skill covers. So that's how you can benefit, you know, doing two things in one turn. There we go. Nice. Minchino seems satisfied as well. Oh, Charmander's back again. Oh, <laughs> and here's the Charmander that came by earlier. Maybe it wants another cup. Just a moment, please. Here we go. Stage 4. Now, the tutorial portions are definitely way easier. So let's see how far we can push into this game with just a single run of 5 hearts. You can combine two cafe skill icons to make them into one powered up. Cafe skill icon? Oh. Okay, so here's where we learn how to combine two icons into one. Let's try it out. So, the thing is, the maximum upgrades you can have for an icon is two. So, even if you have more on the field or on the, on the screen, basically they don't do anything. Alright, there we go. We've made an icon appear. So, let's fill up the gauge again with more E icons to get another one. Alright, now I have two. Let's combine them together. Then the skill will activate and release the combining icons. So, yeah. So, there we go. We've got some animated ex uh, examples. So, yes, by combining two of them together, the skill of the icon gets more powerful. So, as you can tell, the surface area that the icon bursts gets uh, greatly increased. So, let's do exactly that. Make sure the icons are highlighted by that glow. There we go. Oh, Snubble! Welcome, welcome! And Minchino's waiting in line. Nice. Alright. So let's see what this delightful, I don't know, <laughs> fierce looking Pokemon wants. Oh, we still only have the latte. When we expand our menu, we can't survive on selling lattes alone. Or can we? Hmm. Alright, score 35,000. Three combos of. Oh. 10 links. Okay, so let's clear out Squirtle first. Alright, there we go. Then followed by Eevee. Alright, very good. And lastly, the Snubble icons. Let's just mix things around because that's it. That's the end of it. Very nice. Give me those acorns. Gonna need to store up for later stages. Hey, don't think it's about time we offered some new drinks. Yeah, like I was saying, we can't survive on latte alone. I've got just the thing. Yeah, we serve tea now. Okay. We got new offering on the menu thanks to the latest upgrade. Okay, so oh. Adding sugar cubes to the stages. Okay, so 
the thing about the obstacles in this game, they kind of mostly do the same thing even though they look differently. <laughs> so as long as you remember, you know, the basic concepts of certain items or rather certain obstacles, I think you're pretty okay. Alright, the stages are starting to look a bit more colourful. So make a combo next to a sugar cube three times to clear it or hit it with a skill to clear it immediately. So yeah, if you if you do a combo around the sugar cubes, it's gonna take like three times for it to break completely. So yeah, using the skill is actually the fastest way to clear them. Alright, so we gotta clear four of them. Now, um, let's mix things up. Because the Minchinos have more. There we go. Okay, Squirtle next. Let's just keep going round. And Pikachu seems like a lot as well. So let's make use of Pikachu. And there we go, we are done. So we could have used the Megaphone to destroy it straight away, but it's, it's the exact same amount of moves, so... Uh, let's just do it the traditional way. Charmander's back for more! Oh! Friendship bonus! Cha! Oh, Charmander, thanks for coming back! You're such a regular now! Can't get enough of our tasty menu, huh? Well, we definitely love your, you know, patronage when <laughs> we definitely need that money to expand our cafe. A friendship bonus is active. Uh, when a friendship bonus is active, you can get more stars than usual. So that's basically how you get Pokemon to join your cafe as quickly as possible. But of course, you know, um, having that friendship bonus might be a bit tricky in the future once the stages get a bit harder. So friendship bonuses will disappear if you fail to complete the order, so be careful. So that's where the acorns come in. Basically, they let you continue playing the stage without quitting. Um, but of course, the more times that you re um, reuse the acorns to continue the stage, it's going to get more expensive. So that's why you got to plan things out and store up as much acorns as possible. Let's serve up something even tastier for Charmander this time. So let's give him the tea, I guess, since that's the only other thing we have on our menu. Yep. Kind of wasteful to have the bonus on Charmander since he only needs one more star to join us. <laughs> oh well, but that's the tutorial for you. Okay, so we gotta destroy the eight cubes. Um, and of course, you know, we gotta get that score of 12,800. So Eevee's cafe icon skill kind of bursts the um, your surrounding things around it. So it would be good to have the icon in the center of the, the um, 8 cube setup. So let's try and destroy the top row. There we go. And let's have Togepi because there's so many of them. Let's try... Oh. Okay, so we have to destroy. Let's try destroying it now. Oh, it didn't clear. Okay. Squirtle, in you go. Ah, there we go. So let's build this up and destroy everything at one go. Fantastic. Oh, that actually looks really delicious. I would like to have a cup of tea myself right now. Alright, overloading on stars, but that's fine. It's still the tutorial portion, so we can't do anything about it. <laughs> Our yummy offerings have really endeared us to Charmander. Alright, huh? You want to help out the cafe as a way of saying thank you? Alright. What do you say? Let's have this Pokemon join us as a member of our staff. Gladly! Oh, look at that! So cute! I wish that they gave Charmander a different colour arrangement for the uniform. Because <laughs> he looks 
really red and orange. Oh well. Uniform looks great! The cafe will be bustling in no time if we keep getting more Pokemon to help out like this. Alright, let's keep getting more friends then. Glad to have you on board to help us. Alright, why don't we try whipping something up with Charmander right away? Oh, we've got a whole new section there. Alright, they are finally teaching us to swap Pokemon up. So, you can assign leader Pokemon from here. Let's assign Charmander. Let's tap this. Tap Charmander's face. Setting it as leader. There we go. Since the order is a cup of tea, I'm sure Charmander can do a great job. Even if it's still new to this. Let's go back. And let's get Snubble a cup of tea. Ooh, really colourful. Alright, so 20,000 score and 6 cubes to destroy. So let's get Charmander's skill icon charged up as quickly as possible. There we go. Let's use it to destroy all 6 cubes. And with 2 moons, we are done! Oh, we are still lacking on the score. <laughs> Alright, guess we have to use one more move then. Give me those acorns! Alright, two more stars away from Snubble joining us. You and Charmander did a great job. Nice work. We're getting more customers, but we could use more space. Don't you agree, Eevee? Me? Right! You both agree! But we can't expect you to expand the cafe. Hmm, if only there was some other Pokemon that could give us a hand. <laughs> Coincidentally? Okay! Let's move along the tutorial. Yeah, the tutorial takes up quite a few stages, but you know, it's all essential to know how to play this game well. 8,500 score with 9 cubes. Whoa, they're all really get it at the bottom. Okay, so we don't really have to destroy any of them straight away. Okay, so let's see. Can I cover all 3 lanes? There we go. And we're done. Oh! Oh no! I missed out on the two of them. Ah, oh, that slight shift. Ah, oh, that's fine. Oh, the megaphone points down. That's such a waste. Okay, so I kind of wasted a few more steps there, but that's fine. Now, the only thing about this puzzle game, uh, unlike all the other puzzle games out there like Candy Crush and so on and so forth, you can't play back old stages, so that's kind of a bummer. Oh, Timber, do you by any chance overhear us talking about remodeling? What? You can help us? Why don't we ask Timber for some help? Sure, they can turn a cafe into a lovely space. All right, expansion time! Whoa, that's some fancy-looking room. It actually, looks like a Pokemon Center. <laughs> if you ever been to one, new Pokemon will come to visit now. Now that your cafe has gotten so nice. Okay. Looking forward to more friends joining us. Let's do this. At first I wasn't sure about the cafe having only Pokemon around, but with the lovely thank yous and the help we've gotten from the Pokemon, it sure seems like the cafe will be going great. Yeah, what what where are all the human customers? <laughs> it's truly a Pokemon cafe. V V Let's work together and make this Pokemon Cafe spectacular. Oh, 
All right, so that's the tutorial portion. We finally get our daily log in. So I guess I'm back to making daily videos. I I don't think so, but you know, <laughs> I would try my best to put as much videos out as possible. Cause right now, you know, even on my Nintendo Switch, I'm like on stage hundred and thirty something. And of course, we finally get all the notifications for the events. There we go. We've got Score Bunny. Um, I don't know how long more is he gonna be around. Oh. Oh, he's gonna be around for another six more days. Okay, that's that's more than enough time to um, try and get him to join us. Then, of course, there are now 150 stages. You know, so my Switch account is definitely almost done. But, you know, alright. So let's do this. We are finally moving on to the stages that are the regular stages that might have, you know difficulties um, for some people so let's do this uh, before I end the video we're gonna do a few stages all right so Charmander is the main one so tap the bow icon to mark a Pokemon as a favorite so because eventually we'll have too many Pokemon on our hands and you know you want to you might want to favorite a few Pokemon but I prefer to have my default assortment to like the specialties of the food items so all the Pokemon that are in within that specialty will get pushed forward so you don't really have to go and favorite any of the Pokemon just yet so Charmander so it's a two star request from Eevee 13,000 points and six cubes so let's do this okay we can burst a few to the top Alright, then let's clear the four here. Oh, we've got the megaphone, so we can actually destroy both cubes at one go. And we're done! Nice! Everything you serve up is a hit with the customers. So I've gone ahead and gotten a little something new for the cafe. It should help you make some new recipes. Oh, whipped cream dispenser. Nice. Kind of feels like a Starbucks now. <laughs> Let's use some nice fluffy whipped cream to make amazing pancakes. Oh! Now, if only Starbucks decided to do that, <laughs> you know, it would be nice to have pancakes in Starbucks, you know. Uh, but uh, in the end, they just use the whipped cream for their drinks. Alright, let's change up with Eevee, because he is the one that is going to help us greatly with this stage. Alright, so let's go. Okay, so we've got whipped cream, um, you know in the stage now they are basically the same as the sugar cubes just that the whipped cream can actually move around the stage unlike the sugar cubes cubes so just pay attention to that they are pretty much the same thing eventually okay there we go so let's have more most of the icons um i guess touching the whipped cream so oh that was kind of a bad move. Okay, let's use the megaphone to destroy the whipped cream here. And have the icon destroy the tree here. And we're good to go! Oh, that's too cute to eat! Can you imagine having to order this in real life in the Pokemon Cafe um, that they have in Japan? Yes, they are actually making all these foods that they showcase in the game in real life and you have to slice into the Pokemon's faces and <laughs> eat them that's just horrific okay so we've got our first visit with Slurpuff here are some handy items for completing orders I hope you get some use out of them um okay the thing about these items is I barely use them in my Nintendo Switch account I mean, they are handy to have when you're struggling a bit, um, but I almost never use them, which is good, 
because if in the future if Pokemon Cafe makes hold you know competitive um, stages like rankings and all this kind of thing you might need to have all these on hand eventually uh, so just try to avoid using them so yeah so this skill plus just basically gives you a skill icon straight onto the stage the megaphone maker well just pay attention to the arrows that they are pointing at you have the horizontal and the vertical ones so yeah you just use whichever accordingly that you require all right we got to destroy 11 of the whipped creams plus 35,000 points so okay we don't have a lot of EV icons so let's just use the next best thing go through all the whipped creams here all right let's try to grab everyone okay so Michino has more there we go okay let's see um we do have quite a bit of EV now so let's have EV power up let's wrap the whipped cream around okay um there's only three left so i don't know maybe let's just grab charmander and push the whipped cream along oh we missed out on one that's fine let's just destroy it with the skill icon <laughs> So if you're wondering how many acorns does a single unused step give you, well, each step is basically five acorns. So yeah, it isn't a lot, but eventually over the long run, <laughs> it's gonna be very precious. All right, we are on stage thirteen. Let's get Charmander out. So how do you guys think of the game so far? Has it been, you know, too easy for you guys? Or are you struggling already at the higher levels? You know, if you guys are as far as I am, level 100 over, um, things are starting to get really difficult. When you need some help, ask Eevee to lend you a hand with this item. Eevee will clear one thing of your choice. Wow, really? Eevee can clear things that can usually only be cleared by using a skill or... So try it out! Wow! So we can use that to clear the whipped cream straight away? Oh! There's also a sugar cube and it's surrounded by a barrier that we cannot touch. Hmm... What? It only clears one?! Okay, I should have just used that on the sugar cube. Oh god, that's such a waste. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's get Squirtle because Squirtle seems to have more. Alright, we can use this to destroy all the whipped cream first. Oh, god dang it. That was such a waste. Okay, that's fine. Push them closer together. Okay, we have a megaphone, so let's destroy the sugar cube first. Okay, we definitely kind of wasted this stage on earning acorns, but that's that's okay. Mistakes were made. Alright, that should do it. So we got extra 20 acorns. The minimum amount you can earn per stage is 50, so... Just pay attention to that. Alright, Minchino is back for more. Oh, he has the friendship bonus. So hopefully we can clear this stage with ease and gain that extra stars. Oh, so there is a sweet Pikachu here. Um, sadly to say, sweet Pikachu is actually under the purchase. So paid stuff, so if you guys have the store and you want to spend your money, you can actually buy the special Pikachu pack that comes with the Pikachu. As you can tell, my prices are on yen because I'm using the Japanese app store. So if you guys want to play this game with real life money, you can. Um, for some of you who are 
you know, underage to do purchasing such as this, please get permission from your parents. And of course, um, you know, if your parents have not been locking, you know, purchases uh, by you guys, I think they should be doing that. Parents, if you're watching this, please, please do something about this if you don't want your kids to end up overspending your money. <laughs> Alright, so we have Charmander selected already, so let's get down to the stage with Charmander. And let's yeah, brew things up. So we've got three sugar cubes to clear, and we've got to get a 15 combo link with 20,000 score to clear. So let's get Eevee's icons going first. Um, Alright, Charmander has more, so let's get that Charmander going, and of course to power up the icon. There we go. So now we can destroy all three sugar cubes at one go, just gotta be precise. There we go! Look at all that acorn! Oh! And Minchino joins the cafe! So the rest of the conversation here is exactly the same, so let's just skip through this. It is not necessary to read. Oh yeah! Look at that, so cute! Oh! Enjoying Pokemon Cafe? Tap the star to rate it on the App Store. Here you go! No, I'm not gonna write a review. <laughs> you can watch my video to understand how much I'm enjoying this game, so... Yeah, let's move on! So, Minchino, we can finally use you. Alright. Clears Pokemon icons and gimmicks to the left. So his skill will point to the left. Charmander points to the right. And Eevee just destroys in well the circumference around it. Oh no, what is this now? Am I supposed to tap this? Whistle! Clears a horizontal line centered on a spot you choose. Really? So, I can use this to tap here. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, so I only have the whipped cream left to settle, so let's do this. Um, let's gather all the whipped cream to one corner. Alright, let's destroy a whole bunch of them. Only two left, so let's get more Minchinos and go in. Fantastic. So let's let's try to get both of them together. And we're done! Wait! No! How can you do this to me? Oh man, we had to waste one more move. Right, 70 acorns, that's fine. We're racking up on acorns, we've got a bundle of them right now. Oh, I'm gonna add one more thing to the cafe. Tomato planters, nice. Oh, what is this now? These red tomatoes look juicy and delicious, don't they? Now we can put together some sandwiches. Oh! Oh, I've already had dinner, but you know, I would definitely like to have those as a snack later. Alright, so we have challenges that you can complete to get more acorns, so let's try to clear these as well. Alright, clear the challenges to get rewards. That's pretty much the regular thing that I know all games have. Complete orders using a leader Pokemon that's listed as a good fit. So that's what I've been doing all the way through. So let's collect the rewards, the megaphone, use cafe skills 10 times, link lots of icons to make excellent combos. Alright, clear! Oh, whipped cream! So Pokemon can join the staff by completing orders. Okay, so eventually we'll clear all of them. 
I guess let's just make this episode up to stage 20 for now. Oh, we don't have a suitable Pokemon yet. We don't have Snubble. I don't know. Okay, let's go with Michino and let's see how things goes. Whoa, that's a really, really narrow stage. Clear tomatoes, drop them into a basket. Okay. So we just have to push it down then. Alright, so let's push the tomato down. Oh, come on, go down. Oh. Okay. There we go, and it's in! So you just gotta drag the icons out of the way. Oh, the duck trio sandwiches! Nice! 80 acorns. Oh dang, that looks really good. Alright, who's at the door now? Oh, Snubble. Okay. Uh, Charmander. So let's get Charmander. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, they're introducing us another new power up. Whistle vertical. She clears a vertical line center on a spot you choose. Oh, I see. So, basically, if I use this, we can clear the sugar cubes and the tomato will drop in straight away. And let's have Squirtle push it in. In you go. There we go. Oh, I shouldn't have let go. Oh, we're supposed to clear the sugar cubes as well. Okay, so let's have Charmander power up. There we go. Fantastic stuff. Oh, we still have to get that score. Okay, that's fine. Let's let's do this. Okay, we have the megaphone. Okay, let's get some more. Oh! We missed the chance to destroy the sugar cube, but that's okay. Fantastic! And Snubble joins the cafe! I never understood the design concept of Snubble. <laughs> I mean, it looks cute, but scarily... Ugly and cute at the same time. Alright, two more stages to go. Alright, we have Snubble now. Let's get to try his skill. Twenty thousand score, fifteen whipped creams, and four tomatoes. Oh, Snubble's skill destroys downwards. That's pretty handy. Let's push things out of the way. Alright, and let's clear as many whipped creams as possible. Fantastic. Charmander, do your thing. Okay. Minchino? There we go. Okay, let's push everything down. Get the tomatoes into the basket. Squirtle will get out of the way. Okay, we are only two whipped cream away from completing. Alright, we've got them surrounded. And there we go. It seems like having remaining of four turns is pretty common for this account. <laughs> but that's okay. As long as we rack up on acorns, that's fine. Who's at the door? Oh, Eevee! Back for more, eh? Alright, we're going with Snubble again. Oh, 
Something new? Leader Bell turns any chosen helper Pokemon icons into the leader po Oh, that's handy. So if you really want to power up the um, cafe skill, that's going to be very handy indeed. Okay, so we got to destroy the whipped cream. So let's make use of the one and only Pokemon that has a lot. Okay, we're going to push this down and destroy all of them at one go. In you go. Fantastic. Wow. We have eight turns remaining. <laughs> Not the highest I've ever had. But still, a pretty good amount. Oh, we got a package. I wonder who it's from. Why don't you open it? Don't mind if I do. Hey, got more useful items that we can use. Oh, it's from the Pokemon that frequent our cafe. How lovely it is for our customers to support us like this. I'll let you know whenever we receive packages, so be sure to accept them. Yes, it's always wonderful to have people supporting you, especially you guys who are watching my videos as well. I am so grateful that you guys are supporting me, you know, by leaving a like, comment, subscribing to the channel, and all that great stuff in all my other videos as well. So yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here because uh, let's do this um, you know, at a certain pace, let's not bore the heck out of us <laughs> so quickly. So, until the next episode, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed Pokemon Cafe Mix. Uh, or at least a look at the game. If you guys have not played it yourself yet, and if you're looking for something new to pass the time, this is a wonderful game to pass the time with. Very casual, and of course, if you're looking to, you know, keep your brain active, you know, with puzzles and all kind of stuff, this game is a wonderful way to do it, especially if you're a Pokemon fan just like me. So yes guys, let me know in the comments down below as always what do you guys think about the game, how far have you progressed in the game yourself, whether you're playing on the mobile devices or on your Nintendo Switch. And of course, leave a like on this video if you know it helps. Um, well, I guess future videos might help you out in the stages that you might have difficulty with and of course yes let me know if you enjoyed yourself by hitting that like button as well subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this and i'll see you guys in the next few stages of pokemon cafe mix coming around soon until then bye